Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So today's guide is gonna be a quick and fun one showing you how you can make easy money in Monster Rancher 2 DX, especially if you're just starting out the game. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so just before we jump in, I wanted to say special thanks to Chaos Lord, Hipster Snack, and Esquilo, whom have been a tremendous help with Monster Rancher information. And guys, if you're watching, really appreciate it. Anyway, as some of you may know, the discs that were once available and are now present in Monster Rancher DX actually serve the same function as they once did in the past. As of such, this means that the special monsters present within the actual PS1 titles will still exist provided you select that particular disc from the database. Thanks to that, a lot of veteran players immediately point to this trick that allows for easy money farming early on in the game, and it can also be replicated for an infinite amount of times, which is quite useful. So just follow my steps and we'll, uh, We'll get you rich. For starters, take whatever throwaway monster to the ranch and check when the next tournament is active via the battle tab. Make that monster rest until the week of that tournament, then head back to the town. Freeze this monster, then head to the shrine and select disc stone. For title, you're gonna type in monster rancher and then click the second option for a stupidly overpowered Swayzo. If you take a look at its stats, you're gonna see that it has a life stat and a defense stat of 999 and all of its other stats are in the 300s with the exception of its speed, which is one for some reason. Name it and take it to the ranch. Next, select the highest rank of that tournament that you can fight in. Since this Swayzo will only live one week, you can't use it to fight in anything higher than D, but if you complete a D rank official tournament with it, it will prop up your own rancher rank to C. So as Snack told me, it's a way to cheese the system if you will. But either way, you can participate in whatever tournaments are available and just go for the highest payers. Then next, you just fight in the tournament. You're overpowered, so it should be a literal breeze. Let's speed this up. So if you were paying attention, I never actually fought in four of the first matches because my opponents have chickened out, so I didn't even have to face them. So my fifth and final opponent did not chicken out and I chose to control it. I did so just for the shits and giggles so you guys could see how overpowered it is. As you can see, no one stands a chance. And just like that, we absolutely crushed it. Super easy, 1000 plus 250 bonus gold, and then the monster dies. At least we praised it at the end. But yeah, you can keep doing this over and over again because the monsters that are created from discs are unlimited. This will help you grab tons of money for training or items or whatever you want. Go buy yourself a new car. Snack had also mentioned that the free-for-all tournaments are a really good payout as well. So honestly, just spam Swayzo and make bank. It's as easy as that. Now, before I go, the reason Swayzo died right after the tournament is because it only has a lifespan of one week. This is why we chose to use a throwaway monster to rest until the tournament time, because resting with this special Swayzo even once will instantly kill it so make sure you keep that in mind if you for some reason mess up the tournament time you could just freeze it take a new monster rest and then you know you just do the same thing freezing does not affect its time but yeah i do hope this guide was useful to you guys and thanks so much for watching stay tuned and subscribe for more monster rancher content and with that we'll see you guys next time peace